Welcome back to Mainly Everything, my name's John. These right here, um, not necessarily this brand, but this type of sock, it's an alpaca wool sock, has been popping up all over everything that runs ads. So these are from Warrior Alpaca Socks. The price on these, if I remember correctly, was right about $30. So they claim alpaca is um, keeps your feet warmer than regular merino wool. They also claim that it's hypoallergenic and it dries um, faster, it's warmer, softer, longer lasting, and yeah, um, it does say tumble dry on lowest cycle. So that's one bad problem with wool is you have to be careful of how you dry it, especially like stuff that's fully wool. Um, like the glove liners I bought, I washed those and they shrunk very heavily. So they're $31 on Amazon right there. I don't know how well you can see this or not, but $31. So I have a lot of socks. Um, I'm very much into socks, not in like an attraction way, but into like a, I really like socks. So my favorite right now that I've been using for a while are these guys right here. These are the Alvada. I bought these on Amazon. These are phenomenal. These are a really high wool content. I think 80% if I remember correctly. Um, and they're super nice. I like these better than these Timberland Merino wool socks. Um, these I'm not a big fan of. And I have darn tough socks too that are merino wool, and I think these are just on par with them. I think they're pretty much right with them. Um, these are some of the most comfortable socks right out of the box, I think. Over time with washing and stuff, it does get a little bit um, kind of the, the uh, fiber start kind of intertwining it seems and they're still comfortable even I've I've had pairs for a long time months and months and they're still comfortable I bought another pack of these recently they were on a really good sale I don't know if they still are I'll check really quickly they're Alvada Marina wool hiking socks on Amazon uh, they are on a pretty good sale still they're 20 bucks for a three pack that's them right there 20 bucks for a three pack I bought them at $12 the other day for a three pack, which is ridiculous. And while I'm right here, they are 80% merino wool, 15% polyester, 4% nylon, 1% spandex. It says machine wash cold, air dry, tumble dry low, do not bleach. Um, they are made in China though, so. These right here, where your alpaca socks are made of the highest quality alpaca fiber. It doesn't say where they're made. I can look it up. It does have an alpaca sticker right there. It does tell you what it's made of. So let's tear into these. Ah, Fresno, California is where at least they're based out of. So that's cool. So here they are. These have like a little bit of a, almost like a, it almost looks like a wintry design. I think that's what they were, were going for. Um, it's ridiculously soft at the cuff. Super soft at the cuff up here. They do feel soft. They feel thick, which is really nice. Yeah, they, they're definitely longer than these Alvada ones. Um, so these... Let me look up the exact amount of alpaca they are. So I was getting flooded with like Paca Apparel, um, which is a brand, and there's another one, I think Willow maybe? Um, all over Facebook, all over Instagram, just ads for them. All of a sudden. So these are a minority owned business, they say, on Amazon. Wool, Terry is a fabric type. Let me see here. Okay, so these are 47% alpaca, 38% acrylic, 9% nylon, 6% lycra. Um, let's 
they have good reviews on Amazon. It doesn't say country of origin on here. So they are a small company, which is cool. Uh, we're going to turn this one inside out a little bit here. Okay, so the top, as you can see, is really loose fibers. And then the rest of the sock, it seems, is not. So I'm not sure why. I feel like this top piece is really supple. Like I feel like with time this is going to wear down. The rest of it feels pretty, pretty strong. It's just this kind of top cuff. I mean, I'm sure, sure there's elastic right here because it has to stretch, you know, which it does well. I don't know how well you can see me stretching that. There you go. But I'm going to throw them on and I will come back to you. Okay, I got them on me right now. Um, they're superbly comfortable. They feel like I'm standing barefoot in like slippers, you know, those like furry slippers. That's kind of what they feel like. Um, super comfortable. It feels like the fibers almost like go up, like in, not into your toes, but like around your toes, which is nice. Um, these are the ones I was just wearing. These are darn tough. Um, these aren't bad for Merino Wool Scots socks. I think these and these would outlast these alpaca ones quite heavily. Um, it doesn't seem like these are going to be the most durable. I did see some reviews on the alpaca socks about them being um, to not walk around like on carpet or anything just with them alone should be wearing shoes because I guess they a little maybe a little bit more supple um, a lot there are some other alpaca brands too or alpaca sock brands too that do a lifetime warranty like darn tough does these ones are not lifetime warrantied I don't think Think? I think these are the slightly irregular ones. I'm not sure. I can't see where it says it, but I'm not sure. Maybe? I don't know. I can't see. Um, but this brand, I did not see anything like that from them. Um, they, they aren't making my feet overly hot right now. Again, I'm just only wearing sneakers with them. Um, I can show you my feet if you really want to see what they look like on. Oh, if I can do this with my flexibility. There you go. There's a foot. There's a, there's a foot for you. Um, go up to like halfway up my shin, I'd say. Oh, and I think I got the large ones. Um, they definitely do kind of like shed a little bit of fibers when I was kind of turning them inside and out. That might be a problem for some of you, might not be. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, if I have any further thoughts or opinions or they are crappy, I'll leave a comment down below this video or do update or something like that. But I wanted to show you guys. I thought they were kind of cool. I do like wool socks, um, but they uh, seem to not be as good at holding heat as I felt like they used to be. I don't know if that's just a merino wool now instead of the regular or whatever wool they used to use. I'm not entirely sure on the logistics of it all. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.